And now, the Android Basics segment. This is a segment where we discuss the things that power your device from behind the scenes. And now, here's this week's episode, Android Basics. Let's now move on to the Android Basics segment. And this is where we talk about the QPR program that Google just pushed out this week. So it's not just Qualcomm, but everyone is doing a lot of things. And so these are some of the things that are changed with the uh, uh, QPR uh, 1 Beta 3 that Google just pushed out. If you have uh, Pixel devices from Pixel 6 to the Pixel 9 series. Some problems that people were having with uh, the uh, Fold especially is that sometimes maybe you open up the inner screen and it goes blank for some reason. So Google fixed that. And then also some people were observing problems wherein if you have a connected Bluetooth device, whether it's a Bluetooth speaker or a headset, uh, sometimes that people were reporting that they couldn't change the volume. And these are some of the things that Google fixed. And there are some nine items that were fixed. Here are the list of those things. Fixed an issue that sometimes caused notifications to be displayed with some content that was cut off. Fix an issue with system memory paging that sometimes cause devices to crash and restart. That's bad. Fix an issue where some app icons on the home screen were displaying with default system icons instead of the app's icon. That's kind of bad. Fix an issue that sometimes caused the system UI to crash. Fix an issue that sometimes prevented users from interacting with head up notifications. Fix an issue that sometimes caused the system to crash while taking a bug report. Fix various other issues that were impacting system stability, connectivity, and interactivity. That's a lot of uh, T wires there. Fix a crash in Bluetooth device get type that occur primarily in the testing environment when Bluetooth resources were reused between virtual device instances. Improved LE audio volume controls by enabling independent adjustment of each connected sync's volume using the UI and limiting volume key adjustment to the primary sync. That's all that was fixed in this uh, QPR. Guys, any comments about this? Um, you know, I, I don't know if I observed any of those. I, actually, I'm not even using my 9 Pro XL on the QPR program. Both my uh, 7 Pro and 8 Pro are on that QPR, but I seldom, you know, look at those. John, yeah, are, you, I, are you enrolled in, in the QPR I program? I was, but I unenrolled when fi Stable 15 <laughs> came out. So I'm, as of right now, I'm stable only. I just have the one pixel device. Yeah, because you want to check out what is new in uh, the 15. Well, but this is, you know, um, going to be like the last one, though, before the full features drop for everyone in December. So um, this is the, th the third beta of QPR1. And so uh, if you don't want to be part of it, I mean, we just have November and then December, we'll have that feature drop. At least the feature drops have stayed on schedule. You know, as far behind as actual Android itself has fallen, you know, the feature drops have still been released when they're supposed to be released. So that's good. Exactly. And uh, so we're looking forward to that. And uh, if you have a Pixel device, you'll be getting that in December with all the fixes and some new stuff. The new uh, circle begins again with the second uh, QPR program. Is it the stable that uh, was causing or that is still causing uh, the Pixel 6 phones to break or the QPR? It's the stable uh, Android 15 that was causing some Pixel 6 devices to break. 
Wow, good one from Google. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, uh, so much for uh, updates. What Google, right? what Google didn't say when they um, promised three years of updates is that they actually end earphones life at that three year mark by updating it the last time. Yeah. And they and they will I'm, do the same with the Pixel Nine series, uh, which are going to 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 take to take seven years of updates. I think, uh, uh, like year five, they will break the devices. Yeah, and probably most of us will have moved on anyhow. You know what I mean? Um, it, it's just one of those things that, yeah, it's it's there, but uh, how many people are going to be using it? Um, for those years, uh, people. Yeah, tend but to I don't want my device to be bricked. Actually, <laughs> if I don't use it, it's another thing. But to re to to release an update that's that's causing breaking of the device, this is like they they were having a beta version, and th this shouldn't happen. Yeah, I I don't know what happened. Maybe someone didn't test something on there. Uh, you know, it's hard to tell what exactly is happening, uh, but it sure happened. Hopefully, but, somebody's getting yeah. free funds out of it. Yeah. I don't know if people will be able to to take the data actually. Uh they'll find they'll find a fix for it. These things happen, but they always find a fix for it. So remember there was something like that that happened. I think it was another Pixel 6. Um and of course I, I tried it on mine. I didn't have the breaking problem on mine. So it, it's just it's not like it's every uh, phone out there, but it it gets amplified. You know, yeah, but so, that wasn't that wasn't a stable update. This is the difference. Yeah, but what I'm saying that to break the devices, but this is not like every Pixel Six that got break. But a lot of Pixel Six uh, guys are reporting that, so I'm sure they'll find a fix for it because you don't want someone to be without their phone that they've paid for, and if you are the one who caused the problem, then you've got to find a fix for it.